Hi, welcome to the Jack Cap Audio channel from Yorkshire, UK. My name is Brendan Greaves. Today we've joined the Korg to the Nord using a set of five pound MIDI cables. So now when we change the song on the Korg, it'll change it on the Nord as well. It's very easy to do. We'll only take a few minutes. Let's go back to the beginning and start from scratch. Okay, here we are at the beginning of the video. We've got two keyboards. They're not talking to each other. I'm having to change each song individually. So what I've done is I've bought these MIDI cables, standard MIDI cables, just two of them, probably a metre long. And I'm just gonna put a bit of tape on one of them at each end, so I know which is which. And then join the two together using MIDI in, out, through at the back of the keyboard. So the one with the tape on here, I'm going to put into the MIDI in on this keyboard. And the one without the tape, I'm going to put into MIDI out. And then the one with the tape on, which has gone to MIDI in on this one, I'm going to put to MIDI out on, the, uh, on this keyboard here, MIDI out. And then the MIDI in on this one. The MIDI in's gone to MIDI out, and now the MIDI out is going to the MIDI in. So now every time I touch anything on this, it sends a MIDI message to this one. The next step is going to the global channel, page select, page one MIDI, and MIDI channel. I'm going to set that to one. It's already set on one at the moment, but just make sure that yours is uh, changed to number one. And then we come out of there, go back into the combi where I've got my songs. I move up on the Nord, press Shift and number three, which is MIDI. We're going to leave local control on and then scroll to the second page. And now we've got MIDI settings, channel one global is set. We're gonna change that one to eight. I'm going to leave the resters off and then exit that page. So I've set this to 1 and this one to 8. So now on our first song, I'm going to select any of these 1 to 16 channels. I'm going to use number 8. That's not because I've set this to 8, it's just because I want to use number 8. So it's just at the end of this first page. And I'm going to press page select. timber parameter the internal where at the end there I'm going to change that to X X2 EX2 I'm going to leave the uh, MIDI channel as 8 and then the two numbers below it as 0 and 0 exit that page then I'm going to click on the triple zeros with a minus figure next to it and then I'm going to turn my dial to select a number or I could type in the number directly or I could go up and down with these but at the moment I'm just going to change the dial and you can see the nod changes we're going through all the different sounds all the different presets we're up to C D E and so on this will go up to a maximum of 127 and that'll get us onto the E55 uh, song. So we're going to come back down on this one and we're just going to choose any song that we like in the Nord. I think I'm going to set it at, um, at number 8 on here, which is A24 on that one. And then we're going to press right combination and write that in there. And that's the first song done. So every time I press on this song now, this one will join it. Let's go on to the next song and we're going to do the same process. So page select, timber parameter, change internal to external on channel 8. Again I'm just always going to use channel 8 and then press for minus 0, 0, 0 and let's just put that one in it number 45 which brings us to B51 up there and 
save that. And the next one, my next song, I'm going to change something different this time. So page select timber parameter x2 again, but then we're going to go to this bottom set of zeros. We're going to change that to 1, 0, 0, 1, and then exit. And now we're going to press on the minus 0, 0, 0, and select the next one. And now if you look at the uh, node, we're starting not on A's, B's, C, D, E's, but we're starting on F's now. And it'll be F1, 1, F1, 2, F1, 3, F1, 4. And then if you carry on going, you've got G's, H, I. So it takes us into that next bank just by pressing the number 1 at the bottom there. I'm going to save Blockbuster I24 for that one. I'm just picking these at random. Right combination. Are you sure? Okay. And for my next song, page select, timber parameter, external two. I'm going to change that to number two this time. And now it starts on the K's and the L's and the M's as I scroll through. N's, O's, right up to O55. And we go backwards and just select any of these songs. Uh, probably pick on that one. Right combination, save. So now we have just saved four songs. It's as easy as this to use MIDI patch select. So if I choose the first song that we chose, goes back to the organ. And next one, the next one, next one. Okay, so the next step, now that we've got these talking and changing to the songs, sometimes the sounds from both keyboards can come through. So at the moment, the Nord is just playing on the Nord. Korg is playing both the Nord and the Korg. So we want to get rid of the Nord out of the Korg and it's on channel 8, page select, zone delay and then set the keyboard zone which is set at the fullest at the moment. Just have the bottom note as the C1 down there. So now the Nord won't play through this keyboard anymore because we've taking it off the keyboard zone. But it will still play for that one. MIDI can control absolutely anything pretty much on the keyboard. This is just the bare minimum. So you can always expand on everything that we've just done here there's so much more that can be done and easier ways to do once you've got your head around how this works you can change little bits as well you can have one sustain pedal instead of having two sustain pedals you can play this keyboard through that one all the time you can play that one through this one all the time you can change it around it um, it does take some reading up on because like i say it's it's a vast it's a minefield there's loads of stuff it can do this is purely just a basic video to show you if you're using two keyboards at a gig how you can just join them both together so when you've got a big touch screen like this you can select songs easily compared to the Nord where you'd have to scroll through them so if you just join them both up you can just press one on this it just changes them both straight away so if you're not running your set list in order for some reason if you're just choosing songs at random that get showered out it's much easier now just to use a touch screen to find that song, press it on here and that will just change it straight away. For the sake of £5, 
I think it's a brilliant uh, addition to your set to have that working that way.